I'm here at Academia del Cafe Espresso, which is an event space and somewhat of a, I guess, coffee museum that is high above Florence, Italy in the Tuscan Hills. This is actually the former facility of La Marzocco. They specialize in, I would say, probably espresso machines for the specialty coffee industry. If you've ever wanted to travel to Florence, Italy to come to the La Marzocco factory, this is an incredible place to come and learn about the culture of coffee in Italy and also learn about the manufacturing process and kind of the history that takes you through, I guess, maybe one of the most ubiquitous machines in specialty coffee. We're here for an event. It's with the Specialty Coffee Association and the Coffee Technicians Guild. Let's go on inside and take a look and see what Academia del Cafe is all about. Out of a small workshop in Florence, Italy, Giuseppe Bambi was commissioned to build an espresso machine in 1927. The Fiorenze project was eventually abandoned by the client, but La Marzocco was born. Beginning in 1961, La Marzocco based their operations out of the building we're standing in today. Throughout the next 48 years, La Marzocco continued to lead the coffee community into the third wave, innovating every step of the way. La Marzocco introduced the Strata in 2009 a masterpiece of design and technology. The Strata encouraged a connection to be made between the barista and guest, and for the first time ever, gave the barista ultimate control of the espresso drink with pressure profiling. La Marzocco continues to innovate to this day, pioneering technological advances such as auto brew ratio seen first in the Linea PB model, and ergonomic advancements such as the straight-in portafilter seen on the La Marzocco's most recent espresso machine innovation, the KB90. Let's take a look at some of the equipment found here in the museum. This machine came out in the 1950s. I wish I could see a little bit more of the front of it. Um, as you can clearly see, this side is not exactly the most photogenic side of the machine, but obviously this is where all the business happens. But as you can see, this is usually the customer facing part of the machine. Um, and looks very, I guess, nostalgic for that 1950s look. This one right here is from 1927. This would quite possibly be the very first espresso machine that came out from La Marzocco. This is the new design of the Linea Classic. These are actually ridiculously beautiful. The redesign of the Linea Classic is so amazing. You can see the body panels changed a little bit on the back side. The buttons changed on the front side a lot cleaner. On the old Linea Classic, these buttons that are over here pretty much stayed for the entire life of the machine. And the La Marzocco Linea is so ubiquitous because the Linea Classic is actually the machine that was made um, around the era that Starbucks was really coming into its um, existence and ubiquity in American coffee culture. And it was the Linea Classic that you would see in all the Starbucks facilities. All right, so that completes um, the first part of the museum space of La Marzocco. There's a couple of other spots that we can go check out, um, which is more of the event space. So that's actually where a lot of the action is going on right now. So we're going to bump over there and see what we can learn from the Specialty Coffee Association and the Coffee Technicians Guild. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Bonjour, Calamera. To so be here at the Academia in Florence is just a magical, wonderful experience. You all must have had a quick look now, and we're really, truly blessed to have the opportunity to be here. Come on, let's go. 
All right, now, after getting the introductions out of the way, it's time to head off to our first class. I think we're going to head over to the Super Automatic Espresso Machine room so that we can see what the buzz is all about. It seems like Super Automatic Machines are really starting to find themselves in more and more cafes. I'm not necessarily sure if that's because of labor shortages or because Super Automatic Machines are starting to become more reliable and less clunky. Whatever the case may be, we're definitely seeing some improvements in the technology and these things, and I'm really excited to see what's to come. Moving over to La Marzocco Home Collection, I was able to get my hands on the new La Marzocco Micra, and I was really quite impressed with the form factor they pulled off here. Then we headed downstairs to the basement of Academia del Cafe Espresso, where we were able to see the area where a gentleman from La Marzocco does some refurbishments down here. And also we were able to take a look at the off the wall Bambi area where they do custom machines and bespoke design. Here, one of the fabricators from La Marzocco is showing us how the portafilter handles are made on a lathe that was actually an original piece of equipment from the factory from the 1960s. And what Coffee Technician Guild Summit wouldn't be complete without a lecture about water. Water is absolutely the most important aspect of not just your coffee, but your coffee equipment. So we need to pay super close attention to that. Second most important is your installation. Getting the installation right on your espresso machine from the beginning is going to help you out with so many problems down the road. Not only is the electrical super important, but also the placement of the machine for your workflow and ergonomics, as well as the plumbing and drains. Right now, we're able to get our hands on some of the components to go inside espresso machines to get a little bit more of an idea and understanding of how everything works inside. The last few events here at the Coffee Technician Guild Summit were from a few manufacturers demonstrating new coffee brewer technology and some telemetry devices as well. All right, hey, so we're just finishing up a few days here at Academia del Cafe Espresso in Florence, Italy. And uh, man, what a privilege it has been to come to this facility, first of all, at the motherland of coffee and see all this incredible history and equipment. And also to be able to learn from all of the equipment manufacturers and the sponsors and everybody else that was here. And then I have to obviously thank Academia del Cafe Espresso for all of their hospitality. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more information. Uh, we're, hey, we're signing off from, from Academia del Café Espresso. Coffee Tech Guild 2022 is in the books. This is the Dream Team signing off. Thank you so much for attending. Bye-bye. Ciao, 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 ciao. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye.